Hi everyone, this is a new podcast episode and in it I'm going to give you some tips about how to speak more confidently in English, specifically when you're talking in or speaking in public. To be honest, I'm not a public speaker, but I do have some tips for you about how I myself have learned to speak more confidently in front of groups of people, both in English, my first language, and in Spanish, which I consider to be my second language. And I understand how difficult it can be to speak in, even in your first language, never mind in a second language, speaking in public, speaking in front of examiners, that kind of thing. So if you lack confidence when speaking in front of people in English, I hope you find some of these tips useful for you. And if you do find it useful, please click the subscribe button for more useful content. And uh, yeah, click the like button too for the video. If you don't know, actually this really helps the YouTube algorithm to reach more people. So the more likes that the video gets, the more people the video reaches and therefore we can make sure that the tips reach more people. So my first tip I would say is to be realistic but definitely be positive. Right? Speaking in public is hard, it's truly really difficult. So I would say be realistic about what you can and can't do identify your weak areas um, so you work out your areas of improvement it's real it's a really important skill in language learning as well for you to take responsibility for your learning and to find areas where you can improve personally for me in Spanish I don't remember even feeling vaguely confident until I reached upper intermediate Spanish and I think this is generally uh, the level where experts consider you to be fluent. I think fluency and confidence go hand in hand. In fact, I have another video about achieving fluency. So I'll put a link for that video if you're interested. Um, but everyone is different. And if you are one of those amazing people who seems to just throw yourself in and you're naturally confident speaking in a foreign language, regardless of your level, then you might not need to have such a high level. It really depends on the person. But that said, if you're that person, probably you're not listening to this. Anyway, back to my point. You'll have to work hard on your basic structures and chunks of language. What I mean by chunks of language is phrases and words that often go together or collocations as they're sometimes called. This will also stop you translating in your head and getting stuck. Also, really focus on sounds that you know you find difficult to pronounce. For me, personally, in Spanish, it was any word with the strong R. So I remember practicing those words over and over again until, until I didn't dread saying them so much, okay? I still dreaded them a little bit, but not so much. And I felt like they rolled off the tongue a little bit easier with more practice. Also, if you're worried that you won't understand what someone says to you, really practice those listening skills. Predict what you're going to be asked and plan some model answers. A lot of the listening skill is actually prediction. You know what's coming next because you know enough of the language to know which words go together. You don't really process every word. You take the general idea of what somebody is saying to you. So I would recommend brushing up on your listening skills. If it's an exam, you can research what types of questions the examiner is likely to ask you. That's usually relatively easy to find out. For a presentation, imagine what questions you would ask and prepare solid responses to those questions. Okay, so this leads me to my next tip, which is to be prepared, of course. right? If you are well prepared, you are much more likely to feel confident when speaking. And that's true in your first language as well. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll agree. So I would recommend, and I found that it works, is to practice, record yourself, listen to yourself and practice more times, as many times as you feel that you need. I mean, don't go over the top, but I would do this several times. Uh, record yourself again. Hopefully you'll notice some improvement. And this is actually a great way to check your progress in general. Imagine if you could listen to yourself speaking in English six months ago. I bet you would notice an improvement and you should feel pretty thrilled with yourself about that achievement because many people never achieve something as amazing as learning another language, never mind to the point where they can actually speak in front of others. So 
that is a big achievement in itself. And hopefully that will give you more confidence when you recognize how far you have already come. Okay, so um, if you're giving a speech or a presentation, I would recommend breaking it down into an introduction, the main body and a conclusion. So this is actually the technicalities of public speaking, more specifically for a presentation. But I think it's a good practice for a speech as well. Use signposting that will help you will help guide you and your audience through your speech. Signposting is a term used to tell your audience that you are making a new point and it can help that help keep them engaged, right? So they know what's happening, what's coming next. It, it keeps their interest, is what I mean to say. Signposts are usually types of connectors, such as first of all, moving on turning to, finally, etc. You get the idea, right? So appropriately used connectors are also vital for high exam scores. You'll need those if you're taking any exams. And having a grasp or an understanding of this kind of vocabulary will definitely make you feel and come across as a more confident speaker. It looks like you're more in control when you're clearly signposting from one point to the next. All right, moving on to my next tip, I would recommend using some emphatic language. This will make your speech more powerful and you more confident. Uh, be careful not to overdo the emphasis though, otherwise it could sound, your English could sound unnatural. But you could try using something like uh, clef sentences such as, oh, what I found to be the most interesting or the person who quoted this was. You can also use do in affirmative sentences. That's another emphatic structure. So whilst I do agree with you to a point, and one other emphatic structure that you could use is inversion, like um, never had I seen such a beautiful view. However, as I said, just use a couple of emphatic structures, choose a, a couple for the whole speech for dramatic effect. Don't use it in every sentence, that will sound very unnatural. So I think my last point should be about body language. I'm not an expert in this and I remember the first time I stood up in front of a room full of students who all had their eyes on me. I was so nervous. So I followed some tips about this that I found online and I found them to be useful. So I remember you have to step into the role like an actor almost. Uh, you might feel awkward at first, but there, that is actually why we have professionals who train high profile public speakers in this because it is difficult. It's not natural for us. Um, so I think a relaxed, open posture with your shoulders back, move your hands appropriate, appropriately with your speech, but don't use excessive hand gestures because that can look a little bit distracting. Don't lower your head or turn away too much. Oh, and I would wholeheartedly recommend making eye contact especially with a smaller group, like in an exam situation, making eye contact with your examiner will actually make you seem uh, more confident and, and in control, which of course will reflect in your speech. Okay, so to sum up, I would say, be realistic and positively address any areas you know you need to improve. Be super prepared, use signposting and check your body language. So. I think that's it. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but those are just the things that I found to be useful, both personally and professionally. I have hope they've helped you. And if they have, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.